so what to expect uh, for uh, the visit during infusion or even prior to infusion so when we see the patient at the clinic we discuss the treatment plans then uh, based on the disease activity we decide the next step uh, could be an infusion therapy so we try to schedule the patient as soon as possible after verification with uh, insurances and of course uh, make sure the preceding uh, tests and labs are done to start infusion now in case of rheumatoid arthritis there's different infusions uh, approved in the late 1990s uh, Remicade and uh, there's Symphony, there's Orencia so some infusions may take uh, more than two hours some will take 30 to 60 minutes so after we get an appointment to see the infusion nurse will be available also to support the patient clinically and medically always so uh, the nurse infusion nurse will contact you make an appropriate uh, time appointment for you uh, pertain to your uh, schedule and uh, other medication regimens and uh, they start under uh, the sterile procedure to install the IV and this IV uh, secured uh, during the whole process of procedure to prevent any bleeding or infections and actually the risk of bleeding or infections in the last few years with head infusions have been close to zero if not uh, literally zero uh, so this procedure uh, also the next step uh, mixing the medicine may take only a few minutes providing the medicine based on the medicine uh, it determines the time to prevent any reaction and uh, as we mentioned uh, the main disease uh, we treat at rheumatology at CLS Health is uh, rheumatoid arthritis but also we take care of systemic lupus arthritis, osteoporosis and gout has uh, also a new infusion uh, that's been approved by FDA and showed uh, very promising results.